Oh, what's up to all my players out there in games? Land, that's what is he? So, man, I'm here to, just to talk to you for a minute. Kind of, I ain't been here in a week because it's been kind of tough on the brother, man. Um, as you know, they took down our channels and they're making it really hard to pass along this good information. So let's talk about that, man. So I went online tonight and I just typed in NPP dosages. I'm just curious, man. You know, what's the dosage guys running, cycle length, etc. And uh, nothing. So then I started thinking about it, man. I typed in SARMs and nothing. Um, nothing of content, man. I couldn't find anything but blogs, people, vlog, vlogs, what do you call it? People walk around showing their damn life and your average routine booty cookie cutter ass fitness you know everybody doing the same shoulder lift and shit youtube sucks whatever happened to free speech see the thing about youtube what was the beauty what actually uh drew me to youtube to make videos was because if they like it or not cats are going to research they're going to use these experimental motherfucking chemicals to better themselves. As long as it's professional bodybuilding, as long as it's professional sports, you're going to always look for an alternative and an edge. But where do you go now for the information? You know, do they push us back to the days where you had to find the biggest dude in the gym and, 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 and then slide over to him and without getting your ass knocked out or coming across us? Try to befriend him to try to find out what gear or where your local source is? Or what dosage, or, or you know, how can you prevent mistakes from happening? Because you happen to find something, and you're not sure, you know, what's the repercussions of what you're doing. You know, all of a sudden you you start getting boobies and your hair falling out. Where do you turn to nowadays, man? YouTube, by removing this supposedly unfriendly, or un, I guess it's um, yeah, unfriendly, unfamily content from YouTube. You put people in danger, man, because they're still going to run it. You didn't stop anybody from doing something. You just stopped the free flow information from cats that who fucked themselves up. I ain't had strokes. I had surgeries. I ain't did all kind of shit. I could tell you what not to do. And if I can't tell you what not to do and how to do it, I can find out because I know somebody who knows somebody. Like I always said, I don't know everything. And I'll tell you I don't know, but I'll find out for you. YouTube now is just a bunch of... I mean, if you type in twerking, you get booty shaking. You watch a music. I saw a music video when I was searching. It was damn near nude women in it. But that shit was actually being monetized. That's the word. See, if they can't monetize your video because it's not, you know, uh, uh, it's not retail friendly, they don't want to fuck with you. They don't care about free speech, man. You know, cats that I started with, man, I mean, they didn't care if you had. 10,000 subs, 100,000 subs. I had over 561 videos about topics. Just basically, I never told anyone to use anything. But I've answered questions and I said, if you decide to, if you decide to, you might want to try this to keep this from turning into that. You can get with this or you can get with that. Now you don't have that resource. So we're starting all over. We're trying to, man. We're over here at the... Vimeo, but it just doesn't have a following, man. You know, I put videos up, I get two, three views. I used to get, you know, I, I was close to two million views, man. Close to 7,000 subs. Growing nicely. And they took it from me. You know, it wasn't any warning, man. It was a matter of a front strike, two strike, you're gone. It's like, I even went so far to put disclaimers, research purposes only. This is for educational use. Didn't matter. They pretty much said, fuck free speech. So where you cats go? Now, you still can email me. You can still email Seth. You know, they just made it more difficult. But hopefully, man, this is basically you cats out there, man. You know, it's still information to be found. It's harder to get to, man. So when you decide to run that new, I don't know, you decide your first... Your first cycle of DECA or you jump it off some train and stuff. It ain't as simple as just pinning your ass, man. If you're not sure what it takes and what kind of commitment you're making, reach out. It's going to be harder to reach us. But we're out here, man. I just, this is basically a rant to my YouTube, man. You guys really, 
You know, the thing about it was, man, is that no one made you watch. Now, I understand there's a platform, and Google wants to make money off of everything on their platform. But it had to be a market for what we were talking about because I was getting hundreds of emails weekly, man. People were actually buying. You know, you destroy companies. You know, by you removing channels, you actually put people out of work. That's all I wanted to say, man. So I'm still making videos. I'm going to come back on YouTube, man, and, you know, I'm not going to do the typical cookie cutter, you know, watch me do shoulder shit because, you know, how many ways can you do shoulders? You know what I'm saying? You know, um, probably come back with a cooking show, show you guys how to eat clean, and just try some shit like that, man. If you got some ideas, hit me below. But, man, I'm telling you, I used to say back in the day, man, it's hard making videos for four or five motherfuckers. I'm back there with 360. <laughs> Anyway, check me out with your muscle fitness. You can hit me up. I'm still answering questions, Instagram, Snapchat, and all that good stuff. Uh, you can find my uh, research chemical uh, videos at the link below. And uh, yeah, I just want to reach out to you guys. Man, so we're still here. Tony's doing good. Seth's doing. We all we ain't doing good. But basically, we've been shut up. Google put his foot in our ass and says, "Shut up, boy." Without any, and uh, then it came and said, these are the guidelines. This is what you can say and can't say. We would have worked around it because I've been calling SARM Skittles forever. And if you weren't familiar with the term Skittle, then you weren't talking about what I was talking about. Anyway, guys, on the website, you might as well go ahead and buy these. These are hoodies, man. We're going to clear them out. Tank tops. And uh, I would tell you about my new cycle, but I don't want to get this video banned. Anyway, YouTube, man, wants a place. Now, you can still, like, YouTube still has this thing. Now, I was working on a car. You can still go to YouTube and type in how to replace an alternator and bullshit like that and get great videos, great content out there. But when it comes to fitness, when it comes to bettering your motherfucking monkey, what's with spherical? It's spherical. With some enhancements, it made it hard on a brother to get this information out to you. You have no idea how much stuff's out there. Anyway, guys. I'm at Apple. Yeah, I even wear my gear here. Peace, like, subscribe, I'm a trim on the fitness. Remember, this shit ain't for human consumption. Where it wasn't. It ain't for YouTube no more. Can you see me? Anyway. Sad day, guys. YouTube sucks now. I still, I ain't gonna lie to you. I still go there because I look at some RC cars changing the motor. So it has its benefits. When it comes to fitness, man, they really put the foot. Big pharmaceutical companies and big supplement companies put their foot in their ass and said, no, this shit works. Our shit doesn't. You can't sell yours. You put inside a business. Like, subscribe, hit that button below. I'm still around, guys. Peace. What are you lifting today? <laughs>